Hello, dear students. I am Dr. Mahesh Nagas. And in this video class, we will discuss the one act play, Ile, written by Eugene O'Neill. And this is class one of this play, Ile. But dear students, uh, this is the photograph of uh, the writer or the playwright of this play. Eugene O'Neill, Eugene O'Neill, and his lifetime is 1888 to 1953. Let us have a recap uh, what we learned in the last play. Uh, dear students, uh, as you are uh, all aware, in the I mean, uh, when we discussed the last play, a marriage proposal, we learned. Uh, about Lomo's marriage proposal. That means uh, how Lomo uh, had gone to Shubako to uh, put his marriage proposal before uh, the father and the daughter, that is uh, Natalia. And uh, after that, uh, we came across the argument uh, between Lomo and Natalia about the ownership of the meadows. And finally, it also uh, resolved, almost resolved by the entry of Shubuko. But uh, again, uh, a new argument starts about the dogs uh, of Natalia and Lamo, that is Ugadi and Patkatai. And finally, ultimately, uh, it ends happily uh, by uh, Lamo kissing Natalia and uh, Natalia agreeing the marriage proposal of Lamo. So uh, these are some of the important things uh, that happened in the play, a marriage proposal written by Anton Chekhov. Right, uh, the learning objectives of this particular class. Uh, let us have a look. The first objective, to make the students know about the playwright. Yes, so you are going to uh, know some basic information about the playwright, Eugene O'Neill. And to introduce the characters, yes, the characters of the a play I will be introduced to you, okay, at least their names. And to make them have a clear idea about the scene of the play, yes, the scene of the play, uh, <clears throat> where does it take place and the time of the play, of course. And the last uh, learning objective is to make you understand the stewards, a character, okay, stewards is a character, stewards reaction or feeling towards the Captain, okay, uh, these are, are the things that you are going to learn in this class, dear students. The playwright, yes, the dramatist, uh, let us see uh, some of the information regarding to him. Eugene O'Neill, the playwright of this day, a great American dramatist, yes, he's an American dramatist, that too, not only an ordinary dramatist, a great American dramatist. Okay. Yeah, he was born on October 16, 1888, at New York City, United States. New York City, United States. He got Nobel Prize in 1936 uh, for literature. Dear students, look at this Nobel Prize. You know that, okay, the, I mean, most coveted prize uh, uh, in the world, Nobel Prize. Okay, so 1936. And Pulitzer Prize uh, in 1920. Okay, so that makes him a great American dramatist, of course. Not only this uh, fact, okay, which uh, made or makes Eugene O'Neill a great American dramatist, he breathed a new life into the American drama. Okay, he brought new experiments, uh, he brought new things into American drama and made it popular until it was dormant, until it was uh, uh, not so popular. After his entry into this field, uh, American drama became most popular. That is why he is called a great American dramatist. Popular plays, okay, of course, uh, big plays are complete, big plays, uh, let me say. Emperor Jones, Morning Becomes Electra, The Harriet. Okay, there are many other plays, okay, dramas by him. But uh, to name a few, okay, I have taken these three. 
popular one act plays okay these are plays these are one act plays of course these plays contain more than one acts but one act plays popular desire under the elms ah oh, wilderness and of course ile the present play uh he died on 27 november 1953 okay at the age of 65 at boston united states so these are all the information uh, about the playwright dear students playwright means a dramatist so let us know some of the basic uh, or introductory things about the play okay a pitika vicharagalanu nodadare ee ondu natakada bage Okay, fine. Let us see what of uh, these basic information. It is about killing of whales and collecting oil in the North Arctic seas. Yes. So this play is based on the fact, okay, of killing of whales and collecting oil, of course, from the whales in the North Arctic seas. And the North Arctic seas only. whales and timingalagana saisi adrinda enneyanna tailavanna sangraha martakkanta ondu concept athwa aa ondu ideas mele base agittanta play but here in this play we do not see any killing of the whales okay but this play is based on this idea this idea so captain david kini captain david kini is on a mission to the arctic seas with a crew and his wife yes he is on a machine the captain of that ship okay he is on a machine to the arctic seas okay with a crew crew means staff okay staff other members in the ship and his wife yeah his wife the captain's wife is also uh, on the board of this ship so the mission is nothing okay in the mission for karyacharana yenu andre it is definitely collecting oil is from the whales of course ca catching the whales um, maybe killing them and collecting oil from them this is the machine i mean the mission uh, captain david kini uh, is on along with the crew and his wife in the arctic seas you know karyacharane okay they were stranded they were stopped okay they were halted at one place when the sea froze look at the sea freezes a uh, samudra hepgat bidutte hepgat hepgat idaga bandu hadagina chalisodak agodilla chalanege sadhyavagodilla so they were stranded okay they the ship uh, halts at some place of course in the middle of the sea arctic sea the crew rebel they protest they mutiny the captain's wife goes into depression okay and requests him to return of course the crew also rebel to return back home captain's wife also demands the uh, captain to return home okay let us see whether they return or not right uh, these are the characters uh, we see in this play captain kini david kini mrs kini captain kini's wife steward yeah steward means a person who is in charge of dining and provision andre adige matte utakke sambandha patta hage matte dinasi ration anta karithivala adra ondu vyavasthe maartakkanta vyakti ship alli irthanta vyaktige we call steward a person who is in charge of dining and provision in a ship yeah ben okay another character second mate jo other crew okay fine let us have a look at the scene what is the scene about the drusha hege the scene hege de anta before the conversation starts before the play starts and uh, what is this characters uh, patragala nadve sambhashane shuru aginta munche scene hege de anodana let us see captain kini's cabin on board the steam whaling ship atlantic queen yes that means the characters are on the ship ili characters elli idare andre ship mele idare aa ship alli kuda captain kini's cabin captain na ki captain kini's cabin ondide okay aa cabin ide adu of course the in the ship okay ee ship the name of the ship is atlantic queen name of the ship is atlantic queen 
so in the rear left rear means backwards okay sulpa hinde hogi yadakke nodidre left ge a door leading to the captain's sleeping quarters okay to the left there is a door and if you go through that door you can go to the captain's sleeping quarters okay allige karkondu hogutte a door to the right of the door okay we know we need that uh, the, we just we uh, knew that okay, there is a door anta ig gotta it namige to the right of the door a uh, uh, door na balagade there is a small organ small organ means a musical instrument a musical instrument is fixed against the wall of this door right side of this door andre ee door na balagade godege ondu small musical instrument anna hakidaralli and it is uh, looking grand brand new adu hosdagi kaanta ide hosa musical instrument on the right okay to the rear that means uh, on the right side uh, at the backwards left side ge there is a door right side ge there is a women's sewing basket a women's sewing basket is hung okay ob maandre mahiliyaru sew maartakanta kasuti maartakanta ond basket ana alli hakidare that means uh, this uh, shows the presence of a woman on board the women's sewing machine basket anadu a ship alli yaro mahile athwa mahile idare anadra ondu sankhya in the center of the room there is a stove in the center of the room there is a stove we are stove to cook okay adige madodakke balastakanta stove there is no movement of the ship no rolling of the ship complete silence except a uh, okay the sound of uh, footsteps if somebody walks overhead and the melgare especially captain kini okay or anybody for that matter yaradru odado shabdavana bitre aa hadagalli bere yavude shabdavu kelustha illa complete silence and the time is 1 o'clock afternoon 1 o'clock afternoon almost the year is 1895 126 years back the time is 195 ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ 126 ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಹಿಂದೆ ನಡೆದಂತ ಒಂದು ನಾಟಕ ಓಕೆ yes the scene continues at the rise of the curtain okay the curtain rises there is a moment of silence <coughs> excuse me dear students when the curtain rises all of a sudden we don't see any uh, character or characters on the stage and there is no sound yavade patravaru na takshana nododilla matte yavade shabda kuda irodilla after a moment and sölpa hot okay okay kelavu kshanagala nantra the steward i just told you that steward is a person who is in charge of the dining and the provision <coughs> steward enters and commence us to clear the dining table okay after the captain's <coughs> meal so captain uta maadi hogidane so iga steward bandu a captain uta maadi hogirtakkanta dining table anna clean maartane okay he is cleaning the table okay after captain's meal yes he is an old this steward is an old grizzled man grizzled means grey okay he is grey because he is old so why is agar in the sapa grey agi grizzled agi kanta idane this steward and wearing sweater he is wearing sweater and a woolen cap woolen cap looking sullen and angry yes wearing sweater woolen cap yeah, this is cold cold the sea is frozen samudra hepgatide hagagi ಹಡಗಲ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬ ಚಳಿ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ವೆಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹುಲನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಸಲನ್ ಸಲ್ಕಿ ಅಪ್ಸೆಟ್ ಸಲನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಲ್ಕಿ ಅಪ್ಸೆಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಂಗ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಮುಖದಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸಿಟ್ಟು ಇರೋ ಥರ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಅವರ್ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಆಂಗರ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಲನ್ ಓಕೆ ಗ್ಲೂಮಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅಪ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ಥರ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಹಿ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ಸ್ taking up the plates okay he stops collecting the plates or uh, okay uh, putting them in the proper place tiptoes slowly goes to the closed door in the rear yeah we just uh, knew that okay there is a door uh, to the left rear hindgade yeda bhagakke ond door ide anta gothayitu and it is closed adu close agide and we also know that okay uh, there is a uh, uh, musical organ 
musical instrument is there and woman sewing basket is there so this steward goes to that room aa room ige hogtane and he listens with his ear pressed to the crack so there is crack seedi the abba door uh, he presses his ear to the crack aa seedi ro bhagakke thana kivi ana idtane and he listens okay okay right from that uh, door or in room so what he hears makes his face dark and he mutters a furious curse yeah he hears something it seems he hears something you know kelsutte avanige okay but the audience ke kelsutte the audience do not hear audience ke kelsutte illa but he hears something so what he hears makes him furious but his face dark and mukha kappa agudutte okay yako base runs padutte avanige adre yen kelsutnala adra ond parinama avudu so he utters a furious curse he curses furiously angrily okay sit in the you know no and the shapustane okay yarige shapustane we don't know but you know the shapustane here uh, we are not sure what he exactly heard illige namige avan yen kelskonda anadu gotilla but as the play progresses definitely we will come to know there is a noise from the doorway he darts back so he he is listening to uh, okay uh, what is uh, Uh, going on in that room aru mali nadita idana kelskonta idane but suddenly he hears uh, okay somebody walking on the doorway so innondu kade yaro nadkon bartta iro ondu shabda kelisute he suddenly darts back hindakke band bidtane because he is afraid okay so uh, whether if somebody looks he is overhearing and kattu kelskolta iradu yaro nod bitre antu helu bhayadinda he darts back hindakke saritane yeah ben enters Ben, okay, the cook. It seems Ben is cook. He is an overgrown, gawky boy. Yeah, boy, okay, a young boy, young man. Gawky, gawky means awkward, awkward, overgrown, maybe fat, overgrown, maybe fat, gawky, awkward-looking boy. Yeah, Ben. Uh, uh, right, this uh, steward sees him. Steward Ben, not that. Oh, it is you. Uh, okay, he, he exclaims. Oh, Nina, Sadhya, not that. Really. Hirtane. Yes. Uh, how is uh, Ben looking? He is dressed in sweater and fur cap. So he is also dressed in sweater and fur cap. Okay, because it is cold, right? His teeth are chattering with cold. Look at this. His teeth are chattering with cold. So chali in the hallo blue katta 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 shabda marta idar. Teeth are chattering with cold. He hurries to the stove. He immediately hurries to the stove. He moves towards the stove. Stove with the la only bag bag a hot tane. And he stands for a moment shivering. and blowing his hands from the blowing his hand he stands there and he hitting his sides so pakka kiriti odukondu he tries to keep himself warm and he is on the verge of crying he is on the verge of crying inenu alodral irtane okay so aritya character this ben now the conversation starts iga <coughs> ಸಂಭಾಷಣೆ ಈ ಪಾತ್ರಗಳ ನಡುವೆ ಶುರು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಟಿವರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಲೀವ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಹಿಮ್ ಯಾ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ವೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಿವರ್ಡ್ ಡಾಟ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಲಿಸ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಡೋರ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ ಡೋರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ಕೊಂತ ಇರ್ತಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಹಿಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಸರ್ದು ಬಿಡ್ತಾನೆ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಿ ಸೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೆನ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ರಿಲೀವ್ ಓ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಓ ನೀನಾ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ why he is shivering yeah he observes uh, ben is shivering okay with his uh, teeth are chattering chalinda nadutta idane hello kata kata kadita idane keltane steward what is the reason okay so why are you so shivering anta and he suggests he tells him to stay at the stove where he actually belongs to okay he says okay so patu stavatra nintko it may stop your chattering it may stop your shivering Okay, anyhow, you belong to the stove. Well, when you are in the stove, then you will you stay there. Uh, it will definitely uh, keep your cold off. So, but actually, I am not doing a mad bodon. Yeah, Ben trying to control his shivering and chattering. Okay, still he is shivering and chattering. Ben, you too much actually are tired and they can't stay. He is shivering, he is chattering. He asks Ben, asks Stewart. Okay, if he had thought it was the old man. Okay, Stewart, we know the Stewart. So, I mean, tells him. oh is due or sadya nina ante keldaga then he asks oh did you think uh, it was old man or nina adru old man anta ankonde a sound kelu bittu anta keltane then steward threatens him not to say that name not to take that name on his lips hey don't utter that name 
ಆ ಹೆಸರನ್ನು ಮಾತ್ರ ಹೇಳಬೇಡ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೆಸರು ಹೇಳಬೇಡ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ ವೆದರ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟುವರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಬೆನ್ ವೆದರ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಗಾನ್ ಟು ದ ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರೀವ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕ್ರೀವ್ಸ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಶಿಪ್ ಲೀವ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಶಿಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಭಾಗ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಶಿಪ್ ಗೆ ಸೇರಿದ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟನ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟನ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಉಳಿದವರು ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಇರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಜಾಗ ಅದು ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಆ ಶಿಪ್ ನ ಬೇರೆ ನೌಕರರು ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಜಾಗಕ್ಕೆ ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರೀವ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂವರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ವೆದರ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಬಿನ್ ದೇ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೇನಾದ್ರೂ ಹೋಗಿದ್ಯಾ ಬೆನ್ ರಿಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಯಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ and he warns him if the old man sees him then he will be hit then steward warns ben no no don't okay walk here and there don't move from one place to another place because this ben is i think okay he is a cook his place is in the kitchen so if the old man sees him walking towards the crew quarters you know crew quarters in hogodana nodre definitely he will hit you he will hit you okay so see that he doesn't uh, see you on kandil pilbeda ee rithi adda adbeda anthe helbutu steward warn martane bennige but ben tells that okay the old man does not see anything ben says so oh, don't worry steward okay okay don't worry man uh, he will not see he does not see anybody why is he blind no 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 he is not blind avane kan kanadilla antala because the old man is busy in staring towards the north so he is observing the north side he is staring towards the north side andre uttarad kadege a ondu hadiginilla direction illu thara samudrali avana drushti ella avana gamane ella uttarad kadege ide hagagi ship alli yar adattidare elli hogtidare anta avan gamansodilla he is busy yake uttarad kadege nortta idane this old man because the ship has to move towards the northward to complete the mission avara ondu karyachane complete aagbeku andre aa ship uttarad kadege innu chalisbekagide so but now it is the sea is frozen so the ship is stranded alli nadave sikkakondide hagagi old man gamana illa aa kade uttara kade nortta idane whether the ice has started melting enadru ice karogodakke shuru agidiya anta gamanistha idane steward tells that the old man always stares at the ice yeah steward yeah he tells yeah fine so everybody knows that the old man always stares yeah this old man means nothing but captain kini dear students ille old man andre matte yaro la captain kini captain david kini okay he always stares at the ice okay then yeah he he always stares at the ice i mean ice and suddenly he becomes angry steward suddenly becomes angry takshana kopa bandrudu karnige ais nenapa takshana ee old man bagge pade pade maatadu takshana so he shakes his fist okay tana mushtiyana alert fitu he utters ais 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 okay everywhere ais yelli nodidru eshtu dura nodidru ais and he curses the old man also this damn old man this damn ais okay he curses the ais and as well as the old man captain kini and he even curses himself okay even he curses himself okay, let us see fine so why he curses the old man is because uh, he, they are held there for nearly a year sumaru ondu varsha kala avaru aa jagadalli sikha kombittidare athwa samudradalli amina hadiginalli bandhi aagibittidare so because of this ice this old man ಈ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಈ ಐಸ್ ಈ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟನ್ ಕಿನಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಐಸ್ ನ ಕಾರಣದಿಂದಾಗಿ ಇವರೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಸಹ ಸ್ಟೀವರ್ಡ್ ಬೆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಕ್ರೀ ದೆ ಹವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದೇರ್ ದೆ ಹವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಂಧಿಗಳ ಬಂಧಿಗಳ ರೀತಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಹಡಗಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಈ ಕರ್ಸಸ್ and they are stuck in the ice just like a fly in the molasses the this steward says okay he compares their condition tama parasthitiyana avanu compare maartta idane okay he is a simile simile na use maartta idare a fly in the molasses a fly in the molasses hege ee ondu sihiya ondu dravana iruttala gatti dravana sihidu adralli fly aase inda bandu sikha kondiruttala okay molasses you know that okay <clears throat> after you make sugar or jaggery okay bella atwa sakreyanna maadid nantra waste koruttala that is sticky okay sticky material okay and if the fly goes okay to enjoy that sweet okay it gets stuck there ali sikha kondirutte so aa paristhiti yurudagide they are unable to enjoy and unable to i mean fly 
ಓಕೆ ಹಾರೋದಕ್ಕೂ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇದ್ದು ಅದನ್ನ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಮಾಡೋಕೂ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಆ ರೀತಿಯ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಇವ್ರದ್ದು ವೆನ್ ಸ್ಟಿವರ್ಡ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಟು ಎ ಫ್ಲೈ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೊಲಾಸಸ್ ಬೆನ್ ವಾರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಿ ಟೆನ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ಲೌಡ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಏನಾದರು ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೆ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟನ್ ಕೀನಿ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಓಕೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋ ಅರ್ಥದಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಿವರ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಈಸ್ ಆಂಗರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟಿವರ್ಡ್ ಆಂಗ್ಲಿ ಆಂಗ್ರಿಲಿ ಕರ್ಸಸ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಿ ಕರ್ಸಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟನ್ ಕಿನಿ ದ ಆರ್ಕಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿ ಓಕೆ ವಿಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಫ್ರೋಸನ್ ಈ ಸಮುದ್ರ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಗಟ್ಟಿ ಆಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಮಂಜು ಗಡ್ಡೆ ಆಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ವೇಲಿಂಗ್ ಶಿಪ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಶಿಪ್ ಹಿ ಕರ್ಸಸ್ ಆ ಶಿಪ್ ಕೂಡ ಶಪಿಸ್ತಾನೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಫೂಲ್ ಹಿ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಕರ್ಸಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಫೂಲ್ ಟು ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶಿಪ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಹಡಗನ್ನ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟನ್ ಕೀನಿಯ ಜೊತೆ ಬಂದಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಮೂರ್ಖ ಅಂತ ತನ್ನನ್ನು ಸಹ ಅವನು ಶಪಿಸ್ಕೊಂತಾನೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸಬ್ಸೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಲೋ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ನಿಧಾನ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ತುಂಬ ಕ್ರೂರ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಕಠಿಣ ಹೃದಯ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಅಂತ ಬೆನ್ನಿಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿವಾರ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಟೂ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಎಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸೊ two years uh, that means uh, there was an agreement between captain keeni and the crew of the ship for two years okay on this mission okay on this mission even the mission ik bandralli karyacharane bandralla this uh, to collect oil idu eradu varshada karyacharane it is a mission uh, of two years duration and the agreement was also for two years but today this agreement ends that means uh, the two years have been completed uh, since the first day of their uh, maybe journey okay our prayana the madala dinada inda ivattige athwa agreement in madala dinada inda ivattige two years complete agide and the agreement or the contract ends today and this life of two years okay ee eradu varshadalli hegittu the this this life okay it is a dog's life ಎರಡು ವರ್ಷದ ಲೈಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಡಾಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಲೀವ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಲೈಫ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂತ ಜೀವನ ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಬೇಡ ನಾಯಿ ಪಾಡು ನೋ ಲಕ್ ಇನ್ ಫಿಶಿಂಗ್ ಯಾ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅನ್ಲಕ್ಕಿ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಹಿಯರ್ ವೇಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯಾವುದು ಫಿಶ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ತಿಮಿಂಗ್ಲನ್ನು ಸಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ತುಂಬ ದುರದೃಷ್ಟವಾದ ಸಂಗತಿ ಹಾಫ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಓಕೆ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಓಕೆ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ uh getting enough food paripurna aahara avrige sikta illa ardha hotte are hotte alli idare yake because of lack of food there is shortage of food shortage of food and moreover moreover the food is rotting aahara kadame ide kadame iru aahara nu kuda kolita ide so ishtella adru sa there is no sign of returning home ahara the food is being uh, becoming less okay it is already okay started rotting and uh, of course everybody is fed up they are eating uh, half stomach okay uh, for um, so many days still no sign of returning home adru sa manege vapas aguvanta yavde suchanegalu kaanta illa captain torustha illa aa rite suchanegalanna steward doubts if he ever sets foot on the land again look at this steward doubts if things like go like that okay he doubts whether uh, he uh, steps or puts his uh, feet on the land again matte nanu in bhoomi mele nelad mele kaal idak agutho illo anta steward ge anumana shuru agide hige aadre he exactly tells what the old man is going to do today especially okay the captain okay since uh, i mean uh, the agreement contract ends today he is excited okay he is eager to see what the old man is going to do yen martane anta he doubts whether he may athwa he he yeah, he may this old man this captain kini may keep or hold back them on the ship until the last man dies yenadru vapas karkondu hogtana athwa until the last man dies or gets frozen because of the cold mane manusha saaya varugu ee ondu nammana hage karkondu hogtano athwa ee ondu cold inda ellaru heppu gatti saaya varugu saha ee ondu prayana munduvarithu voyage samudrayana munduvarithu yeno yen maartano gottilla anta he talks okay he is uh, curious to know he is eager to know whether the captain kini decides to 
go back, that means uh, return, or whether he stays there or continues the voyage until the last man dies because of starvation and cold. Stewart asks Ben if he heard any talk in the forecastle. Yeah, that is the uh, crew's quarters. We know that okay, Ben had been there. Ben, no? a forecastle, Hogi Danta Gotu. Okay, we know that Ben had gone to the forecastle, okay, crew's quarters. So Stewart asks uh, if, there, if he heard any talk there. Okay, yeah, if the crew members, if the crew were talking there, anything regarding uh, this contract or end of contract uh, or going back home. You know, you which are the beginner contract end of the buggy, at the money over the buggy, another matter for the idra for casually, crew, as a crew members of Samudra, I mean, Hadigan and Alcor on the Ben Nigas to work here. Ben in a half whisper says, Yes. So he says, Yes, Ben says to Mandidan Gardinani, Yes, they were talking how the matter they drew Yananta. If the old man does not put back south, that means that not does not return, put back south and Dakshana Ketirgo, Utra Ketirgudre, Samudra the Mun Prana Mundurite, Dakshana Kendre, Mane Kadege, Atwa, Samudra Dandre Kadege, Prana, Hokta Kanfadu. So, if the old man, if captain does not decide to turn southwards, okay, for home today, they are going to mutiny. If the if Captain Kini does not tell them that he is returning home back today, the crew members will mutiny, rebel, protest, auru, dange yeltarante, galate martarante, dombi martarante. So, yiritek matar koti dhuranta, Ben informs Stewart. Okay, let's read, let me stop here this play. Okay, illegal nilsona, and let us see what happens in the coming classes. Then what are the learning outcomes of this class? The first learning outcome, okay, the students know about the playwright. Yes, some of the basic information, dear students, uh, about the playwright, you know now. And they become familiar with the characters. Yes, at least you know the names of the characters uh, which uh, you are going to meet in this play. And they have a clear idea about the scene of the play. Yes, the scene you can imagine and uh, you can visualize the scene now and you have understood Stewart's reaction or feeling towards the captain. Yes, Stewart's reaction towards the captain. Yes, multiple choice questions. Question number one. Eugene O'Neill was born in A, 1880, B, 1888, C, 1890, D, 1898. Just think about the answer. Yeah, very easy to remember uh, because of the numbers. Okay, you are right, and this is your answer. Answer B, okay, triple eight, one, triple eight. Easy to remember. Question number two, which play is not written by O'Neill? Yeah, not written by O'Neill. A, Emperor Jones, B, Desire Under the Elms, C, The Wedding, D, The Hairy Ape. Yes, fine, good. You are absolutely right dear students. The Wedding is not written by O'Neill. Which? character does not appear in this play. Yes. A. Stewart. B. Joe. C. Mrs. Keeney. D. Stewart. Yes. Which character does not appear? If you have heard the names of the characters, you will definitely answer this question. And of course, you have answered this question. Answer D. Stewart okay, does not appear in this play. Question number four. Name the whaling ship. Queen of Atlantic, Atlantic Queen, Arctic Queen, Queen of Arctic. Yes, again, any, an easy question. And of course, your answer is right. B, Atlantic Queen, the name of the whaling ship. Fifth question and the last question of this class. What is the duration of the agreement between the crew and the captain? One year. Two years, three years, none of the above. Yes, think again. You are right, dear student. This is two years agreement. This is for two years. B. 
Okay, dear students, uh, this uh, link uh, is used to download the photograph of the writer, the playwright, Eugen Vanille, and this book is uh, referred to prepare this class. And it is time to close this class, my dear students. So thank you for watching uh, and listening carefully and attentively this class. Take care.